Is he okay? For now. It looks like he's going to be here for a while, so the last thing we need is a lot of gossip around the village. I can be the soul of discretion when it's needed. Hi, Jimmy. Um, yeah, I can't talk right now. Andy tried to... Oh. oh, what a lovely idea, but I'm not sure I can get away. Look, I'll have to call you back later. OK, bye. Wanted to take me for a romantic lunch, bless him. But it, it's not convenient with all that's going on. On the other hand, we probably won't get much work done today, so I can spare you. So, what's the occasion? Anniversary? Well, he just knows that I've been a bit down lately. Wanted to cheer me up. Good for him. Glad to see romance isn't dead. In fact, why don't you take tomorrow off as well? This is a family matter. We need to sort this out between us. OK, thanks. Uh, we'll do. Um... Oh. <laughs> see you. Bye. Bye. Her idea of discretion will be spreading around the village in five minutes. <laughs> Let's hope the romance doesn't die between you and Robert with Andy here. Oh, will you stop going on about it, Dad? This isn't going to be forever. I thought Andy handled it all better than I expected. Didn't go to the wake, though. No, he said he wanted some time on his own. And it must have worked, cos he went off to home farm with Robert and Aaron. Robert and Aaron? Where's Andy? I thought he'd be back by now. He may not be back for a while. Maybe you should tell us what's been going on. Is Andy all right? I'm, I'm really sorry, Dan, but he, he tried to commit suicide last night. Oh! Oh, no! What? We got to him just before he drove his car into the quarry. I thought he was getting better. How could I have missed...? No, don't start blaming yourself. It's not the first time he's tried. If he was feeling that desperate, I should have known. I, sh I should have been there for him. Right, you, you said that you stopped him from driving into the quarry. How did you know to find him there? I found a note he'd left for me. Does Debbie know? Not yet. Oh, I better get over there. He left a note for you too. So, you and Jimmy are planning a romantic meal, eh? Let's hope you can restrain yourselves until pudding's over. We obviously couldn't manage that yesterday. I'd really rather we didn't discuss it. No, I know. It was the wrong place and wrong time. At least it shows how much he cares about you. None of my blokes have ever seemed that passionate. Well, apart from Andy. I need to talk to you about Andy. Well, what's the point? He ditched me like all the rest. He tried to kill himself last night. What? Well, luckily, Robert got to him before he could. He's up at home farm now. Must have really loved her. Hmm. you think I should go up and see him? Absolutely not. No, I only meant so that I could comfort him, you know, offer him some support. I think you're going to have to wait until he's had time to get over this, Bernice. I'm sure he knows you care. I can't believe that. I didn't realise what he was doing. Well, it seems like he had everything planned out. He left a note. A note? And how exactly did he think that was going to explain to those children that their dad wasn't going to be around to watch them grow up? Oh, he, he can't have been seeing things straight. I oh, know. I oh, know, and I get it. But he can't just abandon his kids, Chaz. None of this is their fault. Where is it now? Robert. Right, I'm going to drop the kids off with Lisa and I'm going to go and see him. Uh, remember, getting angry with him hasn't worked in the past. Well, I'm sure everybody else will be giving in tea and sympathy. I need him to snap out of this. Our kids nearly lost their dad yesterday. I can't let that happen again. I just have to hope he doesn't get into that state again. There's letters for Victoria and the kids too. What should I do with them? Destroy them. No one else needs to read that. Me and Victoria were just beginning to think he was coming to terms with it. And all the time he was planning. Thank God you got to him in time. I wonder if I. Do you think he might try again? Well, the truth is, I, I don't know. Then he 
you shouldn't have left him on his own. No, he's fine now. He's sleeping. Chrissy and her dad are looking after him. But I, just, I think it's best he comes and stays with us for a while. Oh, Mum, I just heard. <coughs> I came to see if there was anything I could do. 